dogs. Joey hit 70 hot dogs. In order to fuel all these deadlifts, I have a pretty closely kept secret. Alrighty, and this is the Snackamoles Cinnamon Crunch Cereal. We are back at the bell. Alrighty, folks, now it's time for the taste test of the double chalupa. Let's try it out. Happy 4th of July. All right, so I just woke up and turned on the TV and it's already being shown. Chestnut and Matt Stoney are like, tie right now, this is insane. Tom's keeping up. Both Stoney and Chestnut are at 29 right now. 70 hot dogs, Joey hits 70 hot dogs. It's time to get back on the bike. Tour de France did just start, and what better way to start than with some uh, cinnamon sugar toast. I used to eat this all the time as a kid. Just because I'm curious, let me know down in the comments below. What was your favorite all-time food as a kid? Let me know down below. I had to get some more oatmeal. I do want to try out these bars. This is the coconut cream pie flavor, and then this is also the raspberries and cream flavor right here. And then we have savory Italian tomato pizza. I don't know guys, I just can't see this as being good. Savory Italian tomato pizza, but Xander Bar wanted to put this into a protein bar, I guess. We have raspberries and cream, and then we have, like I said, coconut cream pie. I'll try the coconut cream pie first. I guess I should use a knife. Oh my God, 20 grams of fiber in this bar. Right there. All right guys, let's try out the coconut cream pie flavor. So it tastes kind of like coconut for sure. Very faint coconut flavor. I get more of a cream flavor than anything. The texture is kind of what's throwing me off. It's more like a, I can't really think of anything else besides like a gummy bear. Raspberries and cream now. I will say that I'm not a big fan of raspberries, so I can't really see myself liking this, but I do like cream. And this one has 19 grams of fiber in this bar, so I guess our Poop won't be as bad. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty much, I mean, these are not the sweetest bars by any means, but I do like the raspberry one a lot better than the coconut one. Savory Italian tomato pizza flavor. 
I will say this one's a little bit bigger than the other one, so I don't know if that's saying anything. Let's see, this one definitely has 19 grams of fiber. Okay, so this one's got a little bit less fiber here. <laughs> so this is the savory Italian tomato pizza flavor. So it has the inside look right there. Honestly guys, it tastes like pizza. <laughs> I just can't get with the texture on this. I, I just feel like I'm biting into a gummy bear, but they're good. I'm just a texture guy when it comes to things like this. So shout out to Xander Bar though for sending these out to me. I really appreciate it. Just being honest here. <laughs> And it's gym time. Well, our uh, little bike ride is done. Now we're gonna go attempt a bench PR. Man, I never thought I'd be so stoked about gaining an extra two reps on my bench press. That's just what happened, 165 pounds for five reps, and I managed to do three sets at five reps. Now I am stoked because that is two more reps than I got last week, and it just felt way cleaner. Unfortunately, I can't microload at my gym for whatever reason, this 24 hour fitness, otherwise known as 24 hour shitness, does not have 2.5 pound plates, so I wasn't able to do 170 for three like I wanted today, so I just did five reps instead of three reps. It feels really good, everybody. Let me just say, this has all been a huge process for me of wanting to be stronger for for a long, long time now. I've never been as consistent as I am right now. I've shown everything about myself online for years now and people have critiqued, they've analyzed every single minute part of my life, including my gym routine, including the way I lift. It's very, very important because every single time that I hit a PR, every single time that I get stronger, it's not about proving them wrong, even though I am. It's about enjoying the moment. It's about enjoying what you just achieved for yourself. And guys, you need to take pride in that. You need to let yourself live in that moment and be proud of yourself. Be proud of the fact that you're accomplishing a physical feat for yourself. For example, I finished the 130 mile ride a few months ago. I was stoked about that, but I was ready to move on to the next thing to accomplish. And that's exactly what you should be setting for yourself. More goals, but realistic goals at the same time. Plus it's always fun to prove people wrong. Successful push day is successful. Moments later. What were, what were you saying about what's up bitches, Fidel? What's up Eric's bitch, bitches. <laughs> Shout out to Fidel Castro, just <laughs> checking in with his coconut water. We're droning. It is the 4th of July, and Ricky can't even open the door. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm on camera. What do you we have? have? a prime. What is this? This is a, oh look over there, what do we see? You gotta keep elegant, you know? When the, when the company comes around, you can't let them know you're crazy, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Moments later. Static Playing through the broken ankles, man. Never sit down. 
Cause I'm a stand up. A few moments later. I had to get another box of cereal. I've been going through probably about three or four boxes a week. I've increased my carbohydrate intake a lot, so I am going through cereal like crazy. So this is just generic oat squares. These are these are kind of like the oat bites that Quaker makes. They have like a, a brown sugar one, and then there's like a cinnamon one. So they're really, really good. And it's like two bucks per box. So I decided to get that. And then we have some vanilla almond milk right there. This is my favorite flavor by far. It's the toasted coconut vanilla. I showed you guys this a few videos ago, the light and fit Danon. So this stuff is really, really good. So it's like 80 calories per little uh, container. Some snap peas and some mushrooms right there. And then some apples and pears, cause you guys know I absolutely hate those. And then I had to get some strawberries too. So those were like two bucks for each one. And then I got some chicken right here. I didn't get any breast just because I'm kind of getting, well, I should say half breast just because I'm getting over it. This is 242 manager special chicken. And then we have some cauliflower right there. And then you guys know I had to get some more ranch. It was running out. And then right here we had to get some more yogurt too. So that's just the cinnamon roll carb master yogurt from Kroger. Alrighty, in this bag right here, peanut powder right here. I like the way this tasted. Now it's exactly the same as PB2 except it's like $2 cheaper. So hell yeah, we're gonna go with that. And shout out to the third box of cereal in three days for me. So this is the Great Grains slash Great Gains. I made that joke many times already. Uh, raisins, dates, and pecans. So I'll be giving that a review a little bit later. Uh, cauliflower, you guys know how I do it. And then we had to get some lechuga right there. And then this stuff's actually really good. I personally like it a lot better than Cool Whip. So you guys like um, Cool Whip, try out True, True Whip. It's apparently all natural, no hydrogenated oil. So went on that and then I had to get a shallot. I'm gonna do a stir fry probably later on. And then cashew milk standard right there. Another standard for me, diet seven up. And then I wanted to actually try out, well not try out, but get some more tuna. So I'll probably like some uh, tuna cakes. I've made this before in past videos, so I'll probably do that. And then we're gonna get some yogurt right there. And then frozen strawberries, you guys know how I like to do it. And then last but not least, we had to get some Brussels sprouts. That's what I got the store, guys. I'll see you in the next part of the video. Lemon pepper zucchini and some chicken, of course. They call me Chef Electric. Yeah, I'm still trying to get it right, but lemon pepper zucchini, definitely delicious. And in this case, I can say nutritious. The Tour de France is finally on. Yet I have pretty much no desire to ride a bike right now. It makes sense, doesn't it? The next day. Damn it! Another box of cereal gone. It kind of sucks because I did a little mini cereal review of these oat squares last night, but my camera decided to delete all of them. And I also realized that they're highly addictive and I pretty much went through the entire box. I hate technology, but I love cereal. A lot. Day 20 of no stimulants or caffeine, and I really, 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 really want coffee right now. I'm trying to make it to 30 days. I wanna do a full month of no anything, so we'll see uh, if I can make it there, but right now it's starting to hit me pretty bad. Oh well. <laughs>
hair though. Ugh. Well, everyone, workout is done. I am stoked with just how things are going. Still just keeping on the strength gain train, if that's what you want to say. In order to fuel all these deadlifts, these squats, I have a pretty closely kept secret, which isn't so closely kept anymore now that I'm sharing it with all of you. And it's Taco Bell. You'll see in just a little bit. Eh, sorry, Jack in the Box. No tacos today. We are back at the Bell. Home of the Whopper. Oh, shit. Wrong fast food place. Hi, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. What can I get for you? You guys have your new, uh, your double chalupa? Let me get one of those, please. Uh, that will do it. Yeah. Thank you very much. When you just deadlifted and you're, uh, really, really hungry, you just don't feel like trolling. How you doing? Just man, Thanks a lot, boss. Have a good one, alright? Alrighty guys, so uh, it is post-workout and it's time for some Taco Bell. After being featured on social media for the past uh, few weeks, I had to give the double chalupa a shot. Well, I have to say the uh, packaging on this is uh, pretty superb. Now, would you look at that? Isn't it just glorious? The double chalupa. So essentially the double chalupa is a chalupa that is in a massive tortilla. Well, it's like a freaking, it's almost like a pita bread. This is the double chalupa. Let's try it out. Wow. Um, cheese, anyone? Are you kidding me? There's so much cheese in this. It's almost insane. No, it's actually insane. I have to say that this is on a new level of tasty. Just look at that. Wow. And that is what we call money right there, folks. Now I have to be honest. Now I have to be completely honest to you guys and say that the deep fried pita bread that they chose to sandwich all of this filling in uh, and call it a chalupa is pretty unappealing. I guess it's what they make chalupas out of. I don't know. But bottom line here is that the filling on this is absolutely amazing. That being said, I'm gonna have to give this an overall rating of a eight out of ten. Go and get yourself a double chalupa. Oh. What's up folks, you made it to the end of the video. Yeah, I won't bore you guys with another uh, guitar clip. I just want to say thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to watch another video. If you guys haven't already, check me out on Patreon. It's a great way for you guys to support us, people on YouTube that take time out of their day to make YouTube videos. And it just helps out the channel. If you guys like the food reviews and just like the way the video was, let me know down in the comments below and also let me know what you guys want to see next from me. If you haven't already, follow me on social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for checking out the video, everybody, and uh... Go right ahead.